I couldn't wait. Had to get something hashing in here. <laughs> I got the first row set up. Only thing is, I need power. Right now, let me show you what we're going, what we're doing here. I brought the Vivor in, and I just want to test out with one machine to see how the airflow and everything is going to work out. But I think it's going to be all right. Another thing I want to try since I have the Vivor here, I have a hot water tank, 18 gallon hot water tank. I'm going to try to use the Vivor only, no battery. Just the 1600 watts of solar I have up on the roof to heat the hot water tank. And we'll see how that works with, with no battery. That should be an interesting little test there. I just need to get some, I'll show you what that tank looks like. Right here. All right, so. This this tank was provided by Thermomate. They thought it was a pretty neat idea to set something up on solar, and they're curious to see how that's going to work. This is a um, model ES2000. It's a 1500 watt heating element but it's only a 120 volt element. So I got a transformer here. This is an isolation transformer. It's not an auto transformer. This thing's like 80 pounds. So we've got this transformer. It's a um, 5 kVA, 240 or 480 to 120 and 240. So we're gonna we're gonna step it down to 120 and eventually I'm gonna change the heating element but just for, for this test we're gonna use this transformer to run the um, to run the hot water tank and we'll see how that works with uh, with just solar no battery that would be that would be an ideal ideal use like a lot of you said if we can run this without a battery to heat hot water that would be that would be a perfect use for a, for a cheap inverter like this I'm thinking that we take we take the hot water tank um, and put it ahead of my main hot water tank in in the house or get another one and do that. Just kind of, you know, to preheat the preheat the water before it goes into the tank. So we'll we'll see how it works. Maybe I'll keep this one out here for for some hot water out in the barn. So anyways, we've got filtration. This isn't running right now, but it the, the thing with let me let me turn this miner off. All right, now we can talk. The thing that I'm trying to accomplish here with the positive airflow is we have a lot of dust in the barn here. The chickens, I got to move them to someplace else because they, um, they're flapping their wings and stuff all the time. They're, they're kicking up a lot of dust. So what I'm trying to do is prevent the dust from coming in from out there and you know hitting my miners over here so with the positive airflow it's gonna push the dirt out you know it won't suck the dirt if we had a, an exhaust fan on here it would even though I'm sealing everything up as good as I can there's always going to be some little crack someplace that you know the dust is going to be able to come through so that's my thought with the positive airflow. It seems like it's gonna work. I can already get a draft, you know, to, to go out that way. If I have that door closed, even though I don't have a door on here yet. And for here, I think I'm just gonna 
do a quick sliding door. I got some rollers ordered from Amazon and I'm just going to use some track across there and a sheet of plywood. We'll see how that works. Maybe later on I'll put a door in here, a regular man door, but that should work for now. Let me, uh, let me take you outside and take a look at what I've got going outside here. What's up, Goro? All right, this is not finished yet. Uh, we've got just a little overhang on here. I got to put some, some kind of either some oil, oil-based paint or maybe some metal roofing. I got, I got sheets of stuff laying around. But anyways, we've got space here for, for three rows of miners. One, two, and three. If I want to do a fourth row, I'm going to have to do a cutout below here. But this will get us going for now. I'm going to have to put a lot more solar panels up to, to just run these three rows. That's uh, 12, 12 miners right there. So with those three rows of miners, I'm going to be at the maximum capacity with the equipment I have here. I've got another... 30, 40 kilowatts of solar panels. I'm gonna have, I, I have on site the four 11.4 kilowatt high voltage inverters. The three rows is gonna take all that up. What do we have there? That's gonna be 30 plus, probably need about 40 kilowatts of solar to run those three rows right there. So we'll get that up and then take it from there, I guess. I'll have to see if I can come up. <laughs> <laughs> I'll have to see if I can come up with some more auction solar panels after that. So if there's a good deal, don't buy them. Let me, let me grab them. <laughs> now I regret telling you guys about how I get the cheap solar panels. <laughs> All right, that's about it for, uh, for this one. I appreciate you guys. And stay tuned for, I think the next one's going to be the hot water tank. I got to get some fittings for the tank. And I have to tie the solar into the, into the Vivor inverter. Then we can test that out. All right, guys. I appreciate you. Have a good one. Adio. Oh, and don't forget to leave a comment or something. And give me a like. Because, again, we're not getting many views on this stuff. So help me out, guys. Another thing. If you guys are looking for any solar equipment, remember, I've got that uh, signature solar link and coupon code in the description. I forgot to update the coupon code, so I probably missed out on something there, but it's updated now. Thanks a lot, guys. I appreciate you. Adios.